Hey guys, long time no seen, right? Um, that's completely my fault. Um, well, not completely my fault, um, because um, I didn't have the result of my latest blood tests, which was the or which is the point of this whole video to tell you what happened um, with my diet. So as I told you before, it took a lot of time before the tests were ready. And then when they were ready, I was not in Germany and I could not get the results because I was not here. Um, and then when I finally got them, um, the units were different in the results that I got from Germany than in the one I got from UK. Then I had to write emails to UK. Please, can you tell me what are the units? What do you use? And then we had to figure out with my doctor here um, how we can compare them. And we finally found a way. Yeah, so now I finally have them. And so it was in the beginning of July. So it's like four months ago that I did the blood test. So, <laughs> well, but uh, it's better now than never, right? Before I share the results with you, I just want to give a little update how I've been doing um, and what I've been eating. So I have mainly been vegan. Sometimes I have eaten some meat or dairy products. Um, I've realized it's not good for my body. I didn't get pain or anything, but I just realized it's not good for me. Um, I haven't been eating just raw foods, so especially now when it's getting colder, um, I really enjoy warm soups and some vegetable stews. Um, and in terms of symptoms, um, I haven't had any. So um, later in the summer I had no rashes, um, I have had no pain, no fatigue, nothing. And I'm really, really happy about that. So I can clear, clearly see that um, the diet is making a huge difference. And actually, since um, I made the blood test in beginning of July, I haven't taken any medicine. And I'm still doing fine. So I'm really happy about that. So, about the results, um, so first of all I have to say it was really really hard to compare these because the units are so weird um, and the way they put them in a scale is just confusing. But let's start with the sDNA, so before, um, so this was in May, um, it was more than 200 and now it is 64. Um, so yeah, decreased significantly, so um, it indicates I'm on the right path. Um, and then the ANA is still um, positive, so I still do have lupus. Um, I don't know what was the exact number in May, because they didn't uh, tell this. Now I have a number, uh, which is 320. So next time we're gonna do this test again in Germany, uh, then I can compare. Um, yeah, so as a result, I'm getting better. I still have lupus, but I'm definitely on the right way and I'm really trying to become 100% vegan um, because I know that food is the best medicine for this autoimmune illnesses and I will also eventually uh, reverse the lupus um, so I might need some more time or I'm, I'm going to need more time um, for that and I think I'm going to need another six weeks really strict raw uh, plan. 
plant-based diet period for that which I don't mind at all um, it's so good for my body so I'm really looking forward to do that so this is now the last um, video of this project that I started in June <laughs> thank you for watching my videos and following my journey and I hope I can inspire someone else with uh, autoimmune disease um, to try this diet um, and then see how it affects and I'm pretty sure it's gonna help most of the people. So thank you for watching and bye bye!